win Nevada, and I will win, and I will win in November. Republican presidential candidate and presumptive nominee John McCain makes a campaign stop in northern Nevada. That's our top story at 5. Good evening. I'm Brent Point. And I'm Terry Russell. Senator John McCain makes the most of a Reno stop, raising cash at a campaign fundraiser and meeting hundreds of local residents at the Boys and Girls Club today. At that public meeting, the senator had some straight talk on Yucca Mountain and immigration and some pointed words for the man he will most likely face in November. Colo 8 News Now's Ed Pierce covered the event. He had a friendly crowd to deal with, Ed. Well, yeah, it, Brent, it was a predictably warm reception from a part, partisan crowd for a candidate who should be expected to do well in Nevada, even though he does have work to do here. This was the first up-close look at the candidate for most in the room. The Arizona senator did not campaign here in the lead-up to the Nevada caucus and, in fact, finished third in the voting behind Mitt Romney and Ron Paul. It's easy to forget back then his campaign was only just beginning to recover from a near-death experience months earlier. At that time, conventional wisdom held that his support for an unpopular war was a huge problem for McCain. He lost little time today in declaring there had been a change in the war and his fortunes. We are winning in Iraq. We are winning thanks to the service and sacrifice of these brave young Americans. And looking ahead to the general election, McCain took aim at the man everyone expects him to face. Now, why is it that Senator Obama wants to sit down with the president of Iran, but hasn't yet sat down with General Petraeus, a leader of our troops in Iraq? The crowd responded to his promises to support veterans' care, veto bills stuffed with pork barrel spending, and changes in No Child Left Behind. There are potential pitfalls for the senator in Nevada, though. The first is his longtime support for Yucca Mountain. It was the first question from the crowd today, and the senator, who just yesterday raised the possibility of an international nuclear waste repository, didn't back away from that position. I support Yucca Mountain once it goes through all of the process that it needs to go through. But I also, but I also support reprocessing. My friend, my friend, we're going to have to... A little straight, a little straight talk. We're going to have to do both. Now, I hope we can Many in the audience may not have liked that answer, but it was his response to a question on immigration that drew catcalls. We have to secure our borders, but we also have to have a temporary worker program that's with tamper-proof biometric visas. It's got to be. My friends, ask the agricultural sector here. There, that we need, we need people who would come to this country temporarily to fill a job that's vacant and then go back. But that has to have to do with a temporary biometric document. And then we've got to address the other, uh, the issue of the 12 million people who are here uh, illegally. The senator waded into the crowd before leaving for a fundraiser downtown. The Nevada Republican establishment may have preferred Mitt Romney in January, but except for a dedicated group of Ron Paul supporters, they seem to have closed ranks behind the expected nominee. And despite his showing in the caucus, he seems to be doing very well here in the polls. Yeah, well, the latest polls uh, show a 46 to 40 lead for McCain over Obama in Nevada. That's about what it was a month ago. Of course, it's a long way to November. One thing is certain, Nevada is again going to be a swing state, and we'll see these candidates again. All right. Thank you, Ed. Senator